Okay. Who is the devil? So, why does churches give so much honor to the devil? When my Bible says, he's under my feet. If he's under my feet, why do we still worry about the devil? I mean, I've seen the devil work this last three weeks for one of this church members that's the past in here. And I mean, I've seen the devil work. So I want to read you something a little today before I really get into it. Who is the devil? As you might have heard him called the devil or Satan, is a real spiritual being with real power and a really devastating, a devastating agenda. He will destroy your life. Yeah. Yeah. He is the enemy of God and therefore the enemy of all God's people. He is mentioned in seven different books of the Bible all in the Old Testament and all nine writers of the New Testament mention him. He is a real adversary that we should be aware of. In fact, in Peter 5 8 says, the devil walks like a roaring lion seeing whom he may devour. Ever since we started this church, the Holy Spirit is very big in this church. So the attack of the enemy is so much bigger than anything else I've seen. And he is more powerful than we often give him credit for being. In Ephesians 2, the Apostle Paul refers to him as the Prince of Power of the air. He has power and authority over our current world system and significant influence over people in the world. And everything he does along with the demonic, only fallen angels, is intent to undermine God's good and perfect plan for humanity. Yeah. But Jesus has the ultimate authority. But no, that Paul calls him a prince, not a king. Because there is only one king, and his name is Jesus Christ. By whom and in whom all things were created. Jesus had the ultimate authority and power over all creation, including the devil and all his minions. Amen. When we choose to believe in Jesus, Luke 10 says that we receive the power over all the power. We do not we do need to be aware of the devil's influence and place in this world. However, we can rest in the promise we have that Jesus is the ultimately more powerful than the devil and will secure a final victory over him for all God people. I had to read that to you. Because I didn't want to leave one particular out of the power of the devil. <clears throat> Last year I preached on a snake. And you know what? <laughs> when there's a snake in your ministry, 
fear the power of the devil's job. But I can tell you one thing about my God. He's 20, 30 million times stronger. Yes. That's right. So I go to Ace Hardware and I had a dream that night. Dream said, as in your worship team, it's a person that is the same. It's the person that you love the most in your worship team. And I wake up and I say to the Lord, now how am I going to get rid of her? He says, you wait. I'll make her go. I said, but I love this child. What my daughter? He says, sit back, let me do the work. So I go to Ace Hardware and I stop. And I get into the car. I get to my car door. And there's a real snake at <laughs> my door. And I look, it's a big old snake. I black. I stick and stick. I, I don't do snakes. That's why I moved out of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> don't do snakes. I don't do spiders. I don't walk in your woods here in Oregon because I don't sleep on creepy crawlies. I had enough of that in Africa. <laughs> wow. So people here ask me, did you go walk in the woods? I said, hell no. <laughs> because I don't do that. So I look at the snake and a guy next to me stop. I said, can you ask Ace for a stick or something and lift the snake up and throw it there in the field? Mm. <laughs> oh, that snake is not to oh, harm. So it's, it's not going to harm you anything. <laughs> I said, but it's in the driver's side. <laughs> he says, just take over and you'll be getting it. My heart was down in 90 miles an hour, my chest. So I switch the car on and I get into the lady side. I climb over. And next to me, this snake is at the window. Hmm. I say, Lord, you have got to do something about this snake. <laughs> The devil, no, I'm pretty scared of that thing. He says, reverse fast back and reverse, go to the front and break. And I reverse back and the snake is still there. And I put my foot on the gas and break and boom, the snake falls off. <laughs> and I got home, very shocked. White in my face, <laughs> eyes weak. I said, Lord, the devil has lost today. I said, he's attacking my church, my worship. And you guys know what I'm talking about. He's attacking my worship. <sighs> so, three weeks later, this particular girl announced that she's leaving because she has to stay home with her children. She wants three months off. Three months to come, never come back. You see, if you wait on God and don't do it in your own flesh, He's going to come through for you. I have people in this city that pray that this church must close down. But you know what? The devil is in their feet. They don't pray at all. They don't pray at Right. Who closes doors now? Because 
guides them to it. When we pick up the sword, it's the word of God. When you have the word of God in your heart, you can be that fighting position. <laughs>
per le vostre tutte e già con cuore, non è vero? Ma non è vero, perché è buono per la mia salute di stare, è buono per la mia salute di vivere, per questo io posso lavorare per Dio. E lui equipa us ogni giorno, questa chiesa equipa you to go out there and do this kind of work in the streets. He didn't call you to come to certain church and be rich. He called you to go out there and teach what you learned in this building. That's right. Get equipped it. Get your heart right for God and get your sword in your hand and don't let the devil do anything. Because our Father died on the cross for us and He paid for all our sins. We are paid in full. All we have to do is escape from Him, His power, and His love. It's to that song. Thank you.